welcome back to my channel. Today's video is just gonna be a little day in my life as a chronically ill small business owner. So as you saw, I basically just start off the morning by getting ready and then I put on a comfy fit because why would I wear an uncomfy fit when my body is always uncomfortable and I work from home? So we have, it's usually, I always usually wear like a sweatshirt and then like either leggings or comfy pants. So that is my work attire. Yeah, so it's just gonna be a little day in the life. And then I think what I'm gonna do actually is when it gets to nighttime, I think I'm gonna stop to film my, a night routine because I don't have a video that's going up this week. So in like three days, <laughs> which like never happens, but I was just so exhausted from my sweatshirt launch. Like I've just been making and working so much that I was so exhausted and I did not have the energy or motivation to film anything. So I was just gonna be like, uh, whatever, no video. But then I was like, oh, but I haven't missed a video the whole time that I was on YouTube. And I was like, you know, we'll see if we can scrounge something together. That sounds so bad. So I'm gonna try filming a night routine. If it doesn't work out, then whatever I miss a week and it's fine. But I think that's what I'm gonna do. But today is a little different because my mom is actually coming over to help today. So she comes over like once a week to help with tubi tape. She presses it for me and she has a lot to press today, but it shouldn't take too long because I kind of got it ready for her to press. So she just has to heat press it. And then I'll work on like putting the orders together. If you're new to my channel, I own a small business. I've had it for a year and a half and I sell various things for people with chronic illnesses. And I just finished like this big sweatshirt launch and I think I have 200 and probably almost like 260 sweatshirts that I sold and they're made to order so I have to like make them, none of them were made. So that's what I've been working on the past two weeks. I'm over halfway done, but it's definitely taking a long time and a lot of effort, but I expected that. So that's what we're working on. And then I'm also like managing normal orders at the same time. Yeah, it's been a lot, but we're making we're making big progress. But basically, I want to make another post office drop tomorrow. So, I'm working I'm also going to work on getting orders together today. I did that a lot yesterday, but I'm not done yet because I didn't have the tubi tape and then I'll be working on more embroidery so I can get as many orders as I can out. I want to get the majority of orders out before Christmas. I was hoping I could get them all out before Christmas but that is just not going to happen. I can't figure it out. You did? No, I can't figure it out yet. Oh, so I also do a variety of word games in the morning because I love word games. Um, originally it was just Wordle, which I play with my dad every morning. And then I discovered these other versions of Wordle on TikTok. So now I play a total of four of them. And one of them I'm stuck on. So Joseph is trying to figure that out for me. Okay, hair. Done. Okay, so for time reference, it is like 8.40 and I like to start work. These are on me. I like to start work at like nine, like a normal human, I guess. Like um, nine to five. What? Like a nine to five. Yeah, like a nine to five, except usually it's like nine to six or nine to 6.30. Cause you're crazy. Lately, I've been putting my feeds in a fanny pack and it is the most amazing thing ever. Like it feels like I'm not hooked up and that is, everything I could ever dream of because I hate being hooked up to this thing. For the longest time, I would just like get so frustrated while working because I just felt like I was tied to a leash and I couldn't move freely. And there's just something about that feeling that was just so frustrating while I was working. I'm like, I feel like I can't get stuff done because I just hate it so much. But then I found this fanny pack, which I will link down below. And it's literally been amazing. And I just shove all the cording in here and it doesn't beat. Amazing. And there we go. These are good. Oh, and you, as you saw, there's um, blood around my feeding tube site. If you, if you know my history with like abscesses and erosions and stuff, yeah, I'm highly concerned that's slowly coming back. I've been having issues here and there with like blood coming out of my feeding tube, but it hasn't been consistent enough or a lot. So I've just kind of ignored it. But that was the first blood I've seen in like a couple days. So that was disappointing because I thought it just went away. So I'll have to be keeping a close eye on it. But I just drained my G-tube um, because when I was starting to have like really bad issues, there was blood coming out of my G-tube and there's no blood. So I think we're okay. Um, let's open up the blinds. 
And now since it's almost 8 45 i'm gonna go turn on the heat press because that takes time to preheat but my mom's gonna be here actually i think i'm gonna do it i'm gonna wait until like 8 50 or 8 55 because last time she got here at like 9 10 so or 9 20 so i'm gonna wait a little bit but she just comes after my sister gets on the school bus she just has to make sure because sometimes the bus is flaky so she doesn't want to leave my sister without a way to get to school so once my sister is on the bus, then she comes over to help me. For the last 15 minutes that I have before I start work, quote unquote, that just means like I get out of bed, I work on like something in bed. So usually it's pump stickers. So I have a few pump stickers to like make and upload to get ready to cut. And then today I actually have to order a few sweatshirts because I randomly got like five sweatshirt orders last night i don't know where they came from did you check yeah i did my guess my only guess is that someone posted in a group that i'm not in because mm. there was nothing there was nothing like okay about to spend 130 dollars on inventory that's done and now we have three pump stickers too I realized I forgot to take my meds. Is that my mom already? Oh no. I didn't even turn on the heat press. She didn't give me a warning. No, it's not my mom. Who is that? Now I'm moving away from the... Now I'm moving away from the door. I don't want them to see me. I, I don't know. Well, I turned on the heat press. Oh, it was just Amazon. So he presses on and I realized I forgot to put on my other acne medicine on my face, which I always know if I put it on because I always take off my ring. And if my ring's not on, that means I didn't put it on. Cause I don't want my ring to get all nasty. Yay. Okay, so my mom is gonna be on her way. She hasn't left already. So the heat press is turned on. Cleaned up the table, everything is ready for her. So yay, I am working on the pump stickers. And I'm not gonna print these yet because I can fit five on a page and right now I have four. So, and I'm not planning on dropping off orders until tomorrow, so chances are someone else will order a pump sticker between today and tomorrow. So, just gonna wait. Okay, that's done. I think that's everything that I wanted to finish this morning before I start work. So when my mom gets here, I will probably start embroidering a little bit and then I'll go from there. Because I do have to, after she um, presses the tape, I cut them. So I also kind of help her with that. <laughs> all the tv tape in like an hour which is amazing so we have this thick stack and then also a few strips that she made so i'm gonna let these sit for some time because it's always easier to pack when they're like completely completely cooled down they like sit nicer it's hard to explain but basically like even though they feel cool they're not like completely cooled down yet so they need that time to cool and then I'll probably get to packing some orders after lunch. But for now, I am going to just work on embroidery. And then later, we are actually gonna go see a house um, tonight. Apparently it's like this really extravagant house um, with a bunch of Christmas lights. It's about 30 minutes away, but my mom said it was worth it and that it's free, but they accept donations to pay for all the code violations of the house. So. <laughs> I am very intrigued to see it. Um, I'll probably include some clips in this video, but then that's probably going to be my night routine video because I was planning on starting my night routine after I finish work. So, yeah. <laughs> but 
I will catch up with you when I do something different because right now I'm just gonna do embroidery which is like the same thing over and over again which you will get sick of. <laughs> Hello, it's almost 12.30 and we are gonna take a little lunch break now. So I got, I didn't do all of these today. I did some yesterday, but I did a lot of these today. So that's good. And then for lunch, I'm just gonna have, I'm gonna go get some McDonald's fries because that's one of my safe foods. So I'm just gonna have a few of those for lunch. If you're gonna judge me for my food, you can leave. Uh, yeah, because my stomach can only handle a few things and eating those few things is better than eating nothing at all because it keeps my stomach working. So keep your comments to yourself. Anyways, yeah, we're gonna go eat and then when I come back, I'm gonna embroider a little bit more. There's this section of clothing that I want to finish before I start packing orders. So once I finish those, then I'm gonna switch over to packing orders. Hello guys, long time no vlog. I finished eating. We watched Brooklyn Nine-Nine. That's our show of the moment. We love it. It is so funny, so good. I love it. Um, and then I just was embroidering for a long time. And then I was stressing because I'm kind of on a deadline since we have to go out tonight and there's this stuff that I wanted to finish and I'm running behind, but we're gonna see if I can catch up. Um, so I finished, I kind of finished embroidering everything I wanted to. There's a few that I didn't get to, but hopefully I can get to them tomorrow before I send out orders. I wanted to get to them before I send out orders, but I don't know if I am. But now I printed shipping labels and we're gonna start packing. So I have, I think about 45 orders to pack. So we're just gonna get started. Try to decide what I wanna start with. I think I'm gonna do a few Etsy and Tubi tape orders first, and then I'm gonna start to pack the sweatshirts. We're packing Tubi tape on the floor because that is what I feel like today. madness i obviously didn't pack all of these today but we have all those orders and all these orders and i'm still not done but we have to leave soon so i'm gonna have to stop i am slightly stressed out because i didn't get everything that i wanted to done today but i do this thing where it's like i run my own business i technically don't need to get those things done today i'm trying to you know stay on a schedule so i can get so i don't get too behind on orders and everything but like I technically don't need to, but I just like stress myself out over not finishing certain stuff when I can just do it tomorrow. But I'm trying to tell myself that um, it's just like it threw a wrench in my plans to have this thing tonight. And I'm one of those people who really struggle when there's like last minute plans. Like if I already plan my day and then something goes wrong or someone throws in a plan, I literally freak out and it's not a great time. I become stressed, I become anxious and you know, it's something that should be fun, but my brain just cannot adapt to new plants. But I'm still gonna challenge myself because I know I'm gonna enjoy these lights, it's gonna be great, and it's better to not overwork myself. So, I'm gonna take a pause on this vlog, and I'm gonna go ahead and start my other vlog, The Night Routine, because we're gonna be leaving soon. Hello, I'm basically coming on here to end the vlog because I completely forgot to end this vlog because I got confused because I was filming two videos yesterday. But the lights were literally amazing. They were so good. I could not believe that was just one house. Just one house. Amazing. Beautiful. If you want to see like the full array of lights that they had, go check the night routine video that was posted last week. And then also if you wanted to know what my night looked like after the day, go watch that video as well. Oh. And on a happy note, um, I ended up packing all the orders that I wanted to 
this morning and I sent those all out so I sent out I don't even know how many orders it was definitely over 100 yeah I didn't count but it was definitely over 100 orders that I sent out this morning so yay for that and I only have about 55 to 60 more sweatshirts to embroider so we're getting there we're making progress yay um, but thank you so much for watching I hope you enjoyed the video don't forget to give this video a like and a comment and to subscribe for new videos every Saturday and I hope to see you in my next video bye